This little thing right here can deliver 300 watts of power. Isn't that crazy? So with this, you can basically replace any laptop brick, no matter how power hungry your laptop is actually is. It's way smaller, way lighter, a game changer on all levels. And what's more, thanks to the modular concept, you can also turn this into a USB charger. Got the new drip from Beta Tech. This is the BT300, a futuristic and modular 300 watts GAN charger for USB devices and also for laptops. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we go, got this cable in the package as well. And then in a, in a, just in a cardboard box. And then we also have this beautiful box right here. Let's go, size are just blank as you can see and the bottom as well. So let's get in there. Ah, okay, okay, great. Everything is nicely padded. And just so you know, this is of course a prototype. So the packaging and all of that might be subject to change. But in any case, this is everything inside this box. So we have a multitude of adapters, a few cables, also a nice pouch. And then of course, oh, it's looking so cool. The modules of the, of the charger, right on. There is no manual as of yet. I got a handwritten note, but yeah, let's check out all the components. So starting off, with the adapters, this one, then also this one, and the one for Europe, the one that I need, is looking like this. Then again, the pouch, nice fabric, then this cable right here. And for the other side, I also got this, of course, from the power brick straight to your laptop. And then also this one, same, same. So the three cables, the adapters, the pouch, and now let's start here. This is the main power brick with three rubber feet on the bottom right here. Then that's the top with the brand logo, pretty cool logo. This side with the out and then with the power in right here. Then we also have this part right here. This is what it looks like. Don't remove while in use. All right, all right. Awesome paint job, by the way. And then we also have this part right here. 100, 140, 18 watts. This adapter right there. That's a display in here, by the way. So to recap, the pouch, the cables, the add-ons, the power brick, and the adapters. And by the way, here is the list of all the items in the package. Done with the unboxing. Let's get to my first impressions and then, of course, to a close overview. So yeah, we already took a look at most of it. Really nice paint jobs. We have the display part, the power part, and also this USB part right here. And it's a really cool modular concept. I can either use the cable, plug it in here, or I can also use, let's get rid of these, or I can also use my, well, the thing that will fit my power outlet, plug it in here. So that's the thing right there. Super powerful main unit right there. On this side, we have a little, like this V, V shapes, V shape mounts. And right here we can also mount this display. Oh yeah, you need to pay attention while sliding it in, just like that. Yeah, then you have a display in place as well. Or you can of course also turn it into a USB outlet right there. Quite powerful, 100 and 140 and 18 watts. Two times USB-C, one time USB-A. But then it's just this USB output, but with the display, you can actually still use it to power the laptop. We will try that in a second, of course. But before we get to it, let's take a close look. Display part right here. Look at this beautiful paint job, by the way. Then the back. We basically already saw all of that, but just for the heck of it. Nice concept. And this part right here. And for the tests, I will actually use it with with the power cable. So this will also just plug in like so. And now we're ready for a test. Good stuff. And now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. Here we have their beautiful website. It's of course listed and linked in the description if you want to check it out yourself. Nice gallery down here. A truly modular experience. As I said, 300 watts of output. There is even a 30 watt turbo mode. Ultra lightweight, just a bit over 300 grams. And it is compatible with 99% of laptops. Here we have the size and the weight compared to a 300 watts laptop power brick. So the difference is massive. Not bad, right? So let's test it.
So here we go, the main power supply is plugged in. And first of all, I want to try this USB-C power module right here. So here we go. And it says here, do not remove while in use. It's plugged in, but not powered up. So let's do it. Boom. Ah, okay, this light will turn on. Also this light up here. So we have 100 watts, 140 and 18 watts. This thing, these rubber feet are extremely nice because as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Perfect. So first of all, 18 watts. So around 14 watts. So that seems about right. Let's go one step up. Let's try the 100 watt port right there. Yes, sir. 94 watts, around 94 watts. So not bad, not bad. And lastly, let's try the 140 watts port. Let's see what will happen. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, this will get clocked down. This can only charge with 100 watts. That's probably also the reason why the 100 watts was also only on 94 watts. Makes sense. So good stuff, we can charge this power bank with 100 watts. Then we can also quick charge this phone right here with 65 watts, which is completely insane. Little fan right there. Just so you know, this thing is still charging with full power. And then we still have another USB-C, well, another USB-A port left for charging yet another smartphone, of course. There we go. But now we're only utilizing around 120, maybe 150 watts of power. So with this, you could actually plug in a USB hub and then you can at least charge 10 phones <laughs> easily. This thing has so much power. It is insane. And by the way, this would also be the proper adapter or the proper module for using it with a MacBook. I have the MacBook Pro 16 inch version right here. And let's pick the 140 watts port right there. The thing is, ah, there we go. This thing has enough power for two MacBook Pros, no problem. The fastest 16 inch version will draw around 140 watts and this one will draw around 100, 110 watts at their full processing capacity that is. During normal usage, it will maybe draw 60 watts, something like that. So this module is pretty awesome and with it, you can turn it into a nice USB power brick right there. And just look at it, it's looking so cool. So I will now deactivate the power supply and now we can safely remove the add-on and now let's move on and let's install the display add-on and i will now plug in this and this is a cable for dell laptops because i have an alienware laptop so i will put it right here so here we go this massive thing and now check this out this is the power brick of the laptop the original power brick look how huge it is and you can replace it with this huge bulky ugly small beautiful and way tinier and lighter. And also look at that, 19.5 volts at 7.7 .7 amps. So that's not even 200 watts of power. So this can easily be replaced, no issue whatsoever. So let's turn it on and now look at that. So this meter will show you the power, average wattage, and also a, it's also a consumption tracker. How cool is that? And this is how it will react to a circular polarizer, by the way. So let's plug it in and let's see. This is so awesome. Yeah, and in the laptop power brick mode, this is what it will look like. And you can just place it right there next to your laptop. It's looking amazing and it's super small. And yeah, with 300 watts of max power, this can satisfy pretty much every laptop out there. So I just turn it off and turn it back on. It will also do some, oh, when it's drawing more power, these will get bigger, I think. Let's turn it off again. Yeah, that's right. So without power, they're just on zero basically. And when it's using more power, these bars will get bigger. And yeah, as you can see, the laptop is drawing around 50 watts. So no issue whatsoever. This is so cool. First of all, I love modular concepts. So one main power source that you can use to power your laptop, for example, but also, of course, for, you know, charging your phones and other USB devices, just a genius concept. And compared to bringing a large laptop power brick and then a USB adapter on top, this way you will save, of course, even more space and also way more money. And it also looks really cool, amazing paint job. And the final product will look super nice for sure. And you definitely would not expect that this little brick is such a monster. Super small, portable. And the display features a consumption tracker too. So 
really, really cool all in all. Thanks to the Gantech, it also has a really high efficiency, even under full load, and it also has all sorts of protections integrated, like the overdrive and overload protections. So this, this old bulky laptop brick, this is a thing from the past, so goodbye, heavy, huge, ugly brick, and hello, smaller, lighter, and way better looking replacement definitely drippy check out the product links in the description if you're interested i will listen link the best deals for you but before you go smash that like button then subscribe ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos that's it for this one enjoy your day and i will see you soon